Are you possibly considering a French Bulldog or an English Bull Terrier for your next dog breed? If so, stick around, as in this video we'll compare these two wonderful breeds and hopefully be able to help you pick the one that is right for you and your situation. Welcome back to the Fenrir French Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the French Bulldog and then how to become higher level canine leaders that can raise the perfect French Bulldog. So if you're a lifelong Frenchie lover, thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new French Bulldog, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future French Bulldog video. So let's dive into today's video and let's start off with the appearance of these two breeds. The French Bulldog or the Frenchie were bred to be companion animals. They are striking and unique and their big bat-like ears really set them apart from the rest. They have compact yet muscular little bodies with a sunken or brachycephalic muzzle. Frenchies can stand up to 13 inches tall and weigh up to 20 eight pounds. They have short, stiff coats and can come in a variety of different colours such as solids, piebalds, brindles and even tan points. The Bull Terrier is also a unique dog with a long, egg-shaped head, pointed ears and a charming gaze. This breed is also one with a short, stiff coat. The Bull Terrier comes in many colours but the most popular is the all-white or white with patches. The breed can grow up to 22 inches tall and weigh up to 60 pounds. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels, and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. The Frenchie can be pretty laid back. They do require exercise and it is recommended to prevent them from becoming obese. Since this breed is brachycephalic or flat faced, too much exercise or exposure in extreme weather can cause breathing issues, making it crucial to keep an eye on your Frenchie whenever it's outside. The Bull Terrier is a breed apart in this regard. They're playful and require much more physical stimulation to keep them sane, and we more mean keep you sane, as a bored, pent up Bull Terrier is not a good time. For grooming requirements, the Frenchie can be a chore. They do shed and will need a weekly brushing with a bristle brush or a rubber curry comb, but this is only half the battle. Their ears, eyes, and between the wrinkles need to be checked as part of your regular grooming routine. This breed also needs bathing more frequently and should be bathed at least once every month or two. The Bull Terrier is easy in comparison. Again, you can use a bristle brush or rubber curry comb and give them a quick run down with it once a week and you'll be set. As we go forward with the rest of the video, it will be with the assumption that the dog has been given proper socialization and training from a young age. It will also be assumed that the dog is of correct temperament and disposition for its breed. The Frenchie is a big lover, but it hasn't seemed to forget that once it was a warrior. The Frenchie tends to be calm, dependable and adaptable, but there is a stubborn streak in there. When they feel threatened, they tend to disregard and forget their size. These little dogs are friendly, but can be a little more more standoffish at first and need some time to warm up. If they do, they'll quickly forget there was ever an issue and they will move in to make friends. The Frenchie gets on great with kids and small animals, though there might be some issues with dogs of the same gender. The Frenchie and Bull Terrier are both descended from the bull baiting bulldogs of the 1600s to 1800s and they both carry a piece of this legacy with them today. The breeds can be stubborn in mindset, standoffish or even aloof with people they don't know at first, but their people are the centre of their world and they love them incredibly. They are also a dependable breed, chock full of personality and humour. The Frenchie is an excellent addition to homes with kids or cats, and they can succeed greatly with both. However, however, Frenchies may sometimes have aggression issues towards other dogs and can even be same-sex intolerant. The Bull Terrier is more wild. They are playful, mischievous, active, fun-loving, independent, and of course, stubborn at times. They tend to be friendly with strangers, though they are protective of their people, and the Bull Terrier will do best in a home with older children. The Bull Terrier will do best in a home with older children. This powerful and rambunctious breed might accidentally knock over a toddler and cause some damage. They also don't always play nice with small animals unless you put an incredible amount of training into them and even then it will still be wise to keep them under supervision. They also can have some issues with other dogs. They can either be aggressive with all dogs or with dogs of the opposite gender and it takes a high level canine leader and some serious finessing from a young age to ensure that this doesn't come about. The Frenchie and the Bull Terrier are not the easiest breeds on the planet to train. Their stubbornness and independence can be the undoing of a novice dog owner. 
The Bull Terrier can be appealed to as long as you make the training fun or best of all, if you turn it into a game. Their playful nature will feed right into this kind of training. The Frenchie can be a little harder to sell. The best tool at your disposal is being a calm and consistent leader and helping them form habits while they are young to set them up for success in adulthood. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated French Bulldog videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir French Bulldog Show.